Talk about inspiring. A woman who didn't just shatter glass ceilings, but flew right through them. She's the first black female to fly one of the toughest planes in the U.S. Air Force, the U-2. CBS 13's Marley Ginter is live with her story and how she's spending her retirement paying it forward. Marley. Yeah, that's right, Elizabeth and Tony. She's clearly not done. You know, she decided to become a pilot during a time when there weren't many minorities in the aviation field. So while she's clearly a trailblazer, she says she's just a person who followed a dream. The U-2 aircraft, nicknamed the Dragon Lady, earned a reputation as a difficult plane to fly. But that didn't stop Meryl Tangestall. So getting in that aircraft, oh, it's great. It's not intimidating, but you're excited. And then now it's like, okay, let's try and be the best that we can. So it's, I like challenges. She likes challenges, and she rises to the occasion. Raised by a single mother, she put herself through college, earning a degree in electrical engineering. She went on to become the first and only black female to fly the U-2, retiring as an Air Force colonel. She's now a mom who's also doing foster care. Nothing that Merrill does anymore surprises me. Ken Hall, Director of Manpower Personnel and Services at Beale Air Force Base, has been with Merrill from the beginning, training her on the U-2. She has worked her tail off to get where she's at and uh, done it with grace. And if Merrill looks familiar, you may have seen her on the CBS show Tough as Nails. It was like getting a golden ticket and uh, to Willy Wonka's factory, so it was just Phil Kogan's, um, you know, tough house. Tough as nails. <laughs> Clearly a tough one, but with a soft side, now paying it forward as a foster mom. I want to be the one that steps up and be an example. I'm giving someone else an opportunity. Can everyone else do that regardless of what they look like, what their gender is? Give them an opportunity and see what happens. Isn't she amazing? Well, one piece of advice that she gave that really stood out to me, she says for the generations to come, you will come up on obstacles, but go over them, go around them, and keep on pushing. Wow. Yeah, sky's the limit for every life she touches. No doubt, Marley. Thank you. Did you know retired Air Force Colonel Merrill Tengestall, living in Placer County, is the first and only black female U-2 pilot in the country. Today, as a personal trainer and motivational speaker, she is still inspiring others to reach for the sky and accomplish their goals. Now she can add reality TV star to her list of accomplishments. When I was growing up, maybe some people did write me off and some people thought I wasn't going to amount to anything, but they didn't realize how much drive and determination that I had. Determination that would take a girl raised by a single mother in the Bronx to extreme heights more than 11,000 miles above the earth. When KCRA first caught up with Merrill Tangestall in 2015, the Air Force Colonel was making history at Beale Air Force Base. You know, I'm starting to leave a planet that I've just been born and raised in. Becoming the first <laughs> and only African-American woman to pilot the Air Force's U-2, flying at altitudes higher than any other African-American woman in the history of planet Earth. As we talk, you know, they'll say, you know, how many women fly? Uh, there's probably about 10 of us now. And then for black women, I'm the only one. So uh, people find out as we have a conversation of how rare and how, how much of a unicorn I am. <laughs> a self-described unicorn who goes by the name of another mythical flyer. It says Dragon Lady 1955 because that's the U2 was uh, started under a CIA program. The nickname first given to the classic Cold War spy plane still on missions today. An honorary moniker now shared by Tangestall and worn with pride on a network Take reality a TV show. This is Tough as Nails. Competing on the second season of Tough as Nails, a show that celebrates everyday Americans tested by extreme challenges that take place in the real world. Now it's got a lot of power coming through the sledgehammer. It's the same strategy Tangestall has always used to overcome obstacles her entire life. You have to be tough, not only physically, but mentally, um, emotionally. A lot of money and a brand new truck is on the line, but Tengistall says the main reason she agreed to compete on the show was to inspire her family and any other person watching to believe they too can fly high and achieve their dreams. Regardless of where your origin comes from, where you were born, how you were raised, um, if you put in hard work, you can become 
what you desire. Needless to say, Meryl is an incredible person. She's got a really amazing life story and she's gonna put it down in a book. So that's in process. Wow. We'll continue to follow her journey. What an inspiration to all women. And I will never forget the day you came back after interviewing yeah. her. You go, what an incredible woman. Wait till you hear her story. And you can follow her journey yeah. um, on NBC on Tough as Nails. CBS on uh, CBS. Tough, as, Tough as Nails, still underway. We so need to bring it over here to she, NBC. She's on, that's right. <laughs> <And> someday. <laughs> 452 right now. We'll be right back.